A man now faces charges for stealing a pair of ruby red slippers from the Judy Garland Museum in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Gordon Severson explains why it took nearly 20 years and what's next for those iconic shoes. Our story begins in the Carol Levin archives, where we keep every news story over the last few decades, including this story from August 28, 2005 when the famous ruby slippers were stolen from the Judy Garland Museum in Grand Rapids. 70% of the visitors ask, what did you ever find the slippers? And this story. In 2015, when a dive team searched an abandoned mine near the museum, and then in 2018, we received a new tip and some information. The slippers were found in Minneapolis by the FBI, but questions still remain. Who did it? And how they did it. Questions now answered by a federal indictment five years later, with the FBI saying 76 year old Terry John Martin is the man who stole the slippers. Personally, I'm a little sad that there is a local person that was involved. We're from a small community, so we're trying to figure out who this person is. And um, so far, nobody that's been affiliated with the museum knows this person. Court records show Martin was convicted of receiving stolen goods in 1986. He also had a few burglary related charges in 87 and 1999 that were dismissed. First we've ever heard that name. Museum director Janie Height says the ruby slippers are still locked away as FBI evidence and and it's unclear who technically owns them. The museum was borrowing the slippers from a collector when they were stolen, and that collector did receive a payout from their insurance company. I would think technically the insurance company owns them. I don't know if they will be go up for auction. I really have no idea. Height says the museum is interested in purchasing or borrowing the slippers whenever the FBI decides to release them. There's something about those slippers that people love. I don't know what it is, but people love it, and they want to see want to see the slippers now back when the slippers were stolen in 2005 they were insured for a million dollars the fbi says the current market value is about three and a half million as for the man accused of stealing them he is set to make his first court appearance on june 1st that's when we could learn more information about these slippers that were stolen and possibly when the fbi might decide to finally release them all right, intriguing. Thank you, Gordon.